What is going on world and today you're tuning in with K. We will be replacing a section of a 4 inch PVC pipe using no hubs. So tools and materials, you'll need the two no hubs PVC by PVC, a hammer, a sawzall blade, a tape measure, a sawzall you could do it with a hacksaw, and a drill not an impact with a 5 and 16th bit and a spray bottle. For preparation, inspect the pipe and see that there are no cracks in the pipe. And you'll be doing that later on as well. And we're taking that section that's cracked off. Those are the no hubs. Just make sure that they're PVC by PVC. Unless if you're using cast iron, by cast iron, or they, they can they come in the transition form as well for like PVC to SDR, PVC to cast iron. So just make sure you have the right one for the application. Start off by spraying the pipe down and wiping it down to see where we're gonna cut at. Plus, it makes it a lot easier spotting if there's a crack or not or you can dig a little bit further back and then cut the pipe later using the sawzall or a hacksaw you can do it with cable cutters if it's in a tough spot but we have the luxury to use a sawzall here you need a clean cut on the pipe otherwise you'll have a leak or they won't join in together being able to use no hub couplings in this situation was a luxury otherwise you would probably have to take the whole line out and put a new one in or use repair couplings PVC repair couplings it's just a coupling without the stoppers in the middle and then you would glue it and slide it back in we can talk about that later As you can see, the pipe was cracked due to trench and probably got cracked with a pick or something. Get a measurement of the pipe and clean the pipe very well. You don't need anything on the pipe when you're putting the couplings on, otherwise it's a potential leak. You can use a rag and then spray it down later if you want. Needed some more space on the sides. I would dry fit the piece first. And if it works with a little bit of gap on each side, it's just perfect. Maybe a quarter inch less than the actual piece or less than a quarter sometimes to allow the seam on the no hub coupling. Make sure that you have the actual, the actual PVC to PVC or ap actual know-how for the application. And then you want to bend it back, bend the flap back like so right here. Now using a drill to loosen the straps a little bit just so they fit on perfectly. They're just a little bit too tight to put them around the pipe. Place them in the right direction. and you'll have a product like this at the end with a clean cut.
like spray it down a little bit so if something didn't line up you're able to slide it back and forth or give it a little twist lightly tap it with the hammer if it didn't fit and then you can bend the flaps back in to the other pipe to join them and you can see if there's some debris under the flap like a rock or something like that the band wouldn't be able to clamp on the pipe itself and give you a seal once you're done put a level on it make sure it's going the right direction and use a torque wrench that's set to 80 foot pounds for a good seal huge thanks for watching if you like to see something comment below and subscribe for more peace